What is up? Welcome back, everyone. It has been a little bit of time, hasn't it? It's been, I think, uh, about a week or so since I've been able to do a video. Um, it's been slim pickings in the mailboxes, I gotta say. Um, just, uh, I don't know. It, it just seems like everybody's getting busy again, and uh, that is definitely slowing down the TTMs. And uh, I have not been uh, as diligent as I have been in months past as far as getting quantities out. Like I've kind of mentioned in other videos, um, it's kind of slowed down a little bit for me. So um, I'm not getting as much out, so I'm not getting as much back. But um, I am pleased to show that we do have four returns that have come back um, in over the course of this week. I had two that came the other day and um, just just didn't have time to be able to get a video in and then I had two more that showed up today so had a little bit of free time to be able to do it and I said all right let, let's go ahead and get one knocked out here before the weekend I'm looking off in the distance and I see my cat she doesn't realize that I'm doing a video yet but she will shortly so um, it won't surprise me at all if she tries to make a cameo so let's go ahead and hop into everything for today and see if we can't maybe ward her off ah uh, great she's made eye contact with me so she's on her way over <laughs> let's see so so far so good no don't do that lay down yeah tell a cat to lay down and see what happens <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get to some more returns for today um i'm going to start out up in canada for today um so as we know, a lot of times with our returns to Canada, it could be pretty much anything because it just it is difficult to tell. So, and, and there we go. She she wants to help apparently. So, hi. You gonna say hi to everybody? Say hi. All right, come on. You can watch from up here. Here, you can sit up here and watch. Okay. Can I open my can I open up my envelopes now? All right. You can supervise from up there. She's like looking down on me now. <laughs> All right, so back to the back to the good stuff. Um, Canada, yeah, never quite know what's coming from where. So this one is going to be a little bit of a crapshoot. Hopefully, it's something good though. All right, cool. So this was my second attempt at this person, uh, Hall of Famer Guy Carbono. <laughs> um, I had sent out to Guy back summer 2020 maybe and never got anything back um so plenty of time had gone by and i figured okay let me let me give this another try maybe it's just something that got lost in the mail and pleased to report got a nice three of three return back from him so um went with some of the iconic sets the 1990 score the 91 upper deck and then the 92 93 upper deck with the frank j selkie uh, trophy for top defensive forwards. So um, a nice three of three. And Guy's got a beautiful autograph. So uh, signed in a nice blue sharpie. So great return. Great way to start things off with a Hall of Famer. All right. Up next, let's go to Cleveland, Ohio. I've got a pretty good idea. I know what what this one is. Um, after my last one from Ohio wasn't what I thought it is. So I think this is the one that I was hoping it would be. Yes, it is Miss Dana Brooke. And, ah, uh, Dana. So, I, I can really appreciate the fact that with Dana, she likes to use paint pens and likes to use colors on her um, signed cards. Which, they look great when they're, when they're allowed to dry. But in this case, um, we, we have some collateral damage here. Um, it looks like this one here pretty good i mean there's a little bit of smearing there um but not too bad and yeah so you can look on the back there and see where the, you got the impression there and it looks like that probably went with this one here which you can see is just kind of all smeared out there well, actually this one doesn't have a smear on it so this was probably the bottom card so then this one would have been the middle card so that would have gone to that and yeah, so then there's the smear. Yeah, there's the really good smear that went with that. So, I mean, you can't complain, really. I mean, this one still looks good. Um, and, I mean, this one actually is not bad. And this one, yeah, I mean, is what it is. But, you know, at the same time, anytime if you're sending more than one card, you always got the chance for a smear. So, um, I, I can't complain. And she signs, you know, willingly for the fans through the mail. So... Um, again, I can't complain with it. So, Dana, 
if for any reason you're watching this video, I do appreciate you signing for me. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so I, I'll still count those as a, a, certainly as success. Um, three of three there. So um, Dana is always great to the fans. So I do appreciate that. Okay, up next. So Kansas City. So here is the interesting thing with this one. This was one of them from today. The, the other two, those were the ones from um, uh, the previous day. Um, so this was one today, and this was one that actually went to my old address. And even though I have got um, my mail being forwarded, and I've only had that in for, gosh, a month maybe, less than a month, um, they did not forward this piece of mail. It ended up at my old address, and um, the, the person living there now um, let me know, and uh, I went by and picked it up. So that just kind of concerns me because I have received some things that have had that yellow forwarding slip on it. Um, but for some reason, this one did not. So I may take a little drive down to my local post office tomorrow and just kind of ask them about that and why that happened in this case here. So, um, but we'll see. Um, so, okay, let's see what we get here, though. Um, Kansas City, and wow, that's an old one for sure over there with the tape seal because I've really kind of stepped away from that. So let's see what we get. Nice! Mets collection, Ed Hearn. Um... These, gosh, these went out before the holidays, uh, so they've been out for quite some time. And Ed hooked me up there with a nice five of five. So I think, I may be mistaken, but I think these are like basically his three major Mets cards. Um, I love getting that Toys R Us rookie there, because uh, I also got the Greg Jeffries signed out of that. And then um, the old Tidewater Tides. Um, minor league set card there. So I've, I've actually been very fortunate. I've gotten several of those signed through the mail now. Um, so beautiful autograph, signed in nice blue Sharpie there. So um, an awesome addition to the Mets collection. Uh, and this, these were out for, gosh, probably about, I would say, six months plus, six, seven months or so. Um, so good return there. All right. And then lastly, we have got uh, Santa Clarita, California. Um, as we know, stuff coming back from California could be darn near anything, so it's hard to say. And in this case, all right, Roger Salkeld. Um, this is, uh, I saw that he had been doing quite a few returns back and just hadn't gotten mine back yet, so I guess just with the placement of where it was, um, <laughs> in his stack of mail, he got, uh, he got around to me. So, um, cool, cool stuff there. Um, 91 upper deck, top prospect card, 1990 score, first round draft pick, um, 1990 upper deck, first round draft pick, and then a, um, I think this is 94, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, 94, um, upper deck, and what I like with this one here is the fact that he's a pitcher, but holding the bat, um, I had recently done that with, uh, with another, um, Another card, it was a uh, pitcher, and gosh, it escapes me who, who it was. I sent it, oh, Billy Swift. Um, Billy Swift, same type of deal, um, where it was a pitcher in a, holding a bat like a, you know, posed photo with that. So I kind of like those. Um, so when I saw that card, I was like, okay, got to send that. And the 90 score, I love getting these things signed. The 90 tops, I really haven't done a whole lot, especially with the draft picks, but um I, I just, I don't know, I like kind of like the, almost like the cheese ball posed look to it. And then, uh, of course, the 91 upper deck. And my cat is going nuts over here. She wants to play so bad. So as soon as this video is over, I'm going to get chewed up. She's going to bite the heck out of me. I know it. So let's move on to our recap so that my cat can chew on me. <laughs> on the day, we went uh, four for four with our returns. Uh, we got a nice... 4 of 4 return from Roger Selkeld. We got a 3 of 3 return from the lovely Miss Dana. Look at it. Oh, there it is. See? Now we've got photographic evidence of my cat trying to destroy me. Look at this. All right, come on, you. Not yet. Not yet. Hang on. I'll play with you in a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> 3 of 3 return from Dana Brooke. A uh, great 3 of 3 return from... Hockey Hall of Famer, Guy Carboneau. And then a nice 5 of 5 return from 
New York Met, Ed Hearn. So, um, not a whole lot of returns for the week, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, but we got some cool stuff here. Um, Hall of Famer, wrestler, New York Met, first round pick of the 90s. So, uh, good stuff all together. Um, and all we've got here, let's see, six, uh, 15 autographs. So, again, good stuff on the day. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe Saturday I'll bring some, uh, some cool things coming in. Um, I did send out a couple of TTMs um, back early in the week that um, were some oversized items. So, hopefully, those will come back here pretty soon. And uh, look at her. She's stalking again. Come here, you. Stop. Um, hopefully we'll get those returns back sometime next week and we can unveil some cool, cool things for everybody. But for today, that'll, uh, take care of our video. So appreciate everyone spending the time. Hope you enjoyed the video and the little bonus coverage of my little monster cat over here. And, uh, until next time, hope everyone is staying safe out there, having fun. We're in that early summer period here, so it's uh, really nice weather. Baseball is kind of getting back to normal. Concerts are coming back, so hope everybody's out uh, enjoying themselves. And uh, hope your mailboxes are staying full of ink. And until next time, everyone, we'll see you.